February 5th, 2020. Are you seeing my queen? Look, she's right there. Top right hand corner, middle. There she is. Beautiful looking queen, and she has this frame packed with eggs. I wonder what is she up to. Yeah, man. Okay. You know they don't like spotlight and thing too much. Oh, she going? She looking at? And she's laying an egg. She's laying. She's laying. There she go. Let's see if she will lay another egg. She looking around. She has this thing here so packed with eggs. I'll have to give her more room. She's going on the other side of the frame now. All right. I'm just making a check here today to see if this queen was successful. And hold on, eh? Okay, so now that I know, um, remember this colony had a queen as well as a queen cell, and uh, I'm here today to see what is the result of that, and uh, I see we have a good source of nectar. Let me show it to you. See how the nectar glittering in the sunlight there? Yeah man, on both sides. So this queen is ready to pack it in. Alright, she's ready to work. So what I will do is I will don't get squeezed there, girl. What I will do is I will give them that additional encouragement. I will I will put a, a frame of foundation right here so that she will know that they will need to work on it and um, get it ready. Okay, this is the foundation and they have started already to, to build on it. They have a little nectar in, in there, as well as this side. But I want to speed them up a little bit. So I will put this, this frame right smack here in position six. You know, if you're checking from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put it here in position six. So that she will know that they have some work here to be done. Right. Now, what I also did with this colony, I put on a super of just um, foundation because it had so much bees inside there I had to give them some space to occupy now that I see that I will be able to go to my go to my honey house my honey extraction house and uncap and spin out that honey which I took out on the 31st of January 2020. Remember I mentioned to you what I usually do with that. I will, um, if the honey at that point in time isn't sufficiently sealed, 
what I usually, what I will do is I'll put it in that room and let it get dehydrated a bit. And uh, I will come back at another time. This is another way in which it is, which I will put on feeder. I run out of hive, um, hive body, the um, I run out of the, the box, the top feeder box. So I'm using this as a, a makeshift now. All right. So I will go now and extract that honey because it has been about five days now. And um, I will put on, put on some frames, some wet frames in, in, in that super there so that the bees will be able to use that encouragement to start putting in more and more nectar and turn it into honey. So that's the, that's the little trick I use from time to time. Uh, this is another colony that I want to get in here into as well. But now that I see that that one down there doing well, I need to get in this one here. This one here, um, um, this one was doing pretty good. And then it started, it started to go down in numbers and everything. So... I'm going there now to see, in, in this colony, last time I went in there, I saw the queen, and by the time I taken trying to take a look at her, she flew out, and I don't know if she came back. I could have captured her, but by the time I thought of it, because I, I didn't have on a veil at the time, I could have taken the veil and captured her in midair. But by the time I thought of that and get the veil, I lost track of her. So I'm going into that colony now to see if there is a queen. We still have some solid feed here as well as some liquid. Move that smoke from there for me. So they are eating the pollen substitute, but I would need to. I would need to actually look down inside this colony here to make a better assessment of if they have a queen. Trying to, I'm trying to prop this phone here.
as you can see we have some seal some seal honey there we have it sealed on both sides Okay, so here's the thing. What I'm seeing here is an open cell. That's an open cell there. So it is possible the queen didn't make it back to this colony. And over on this side here, I am seeing I saw a queen cell. There is it. There's the queen cell. So we will have a new queen in here pretty soon. We have a nice array of pollen. We have brood. We have honey on the frame. We have emerging brood. So what we will do is I will put back this and mark it. So I will know exactly where she will probably emerge from next time around. So I just make a little X. X marks the spot. Let's investigate this adjacent frame here. Let's see what's going on. All right. Okay, so we have pollen, we have pollen, we have nectar, we have a frame that is being worked on, trying to build it out. We have nice pollen man, so the queen, when she emerge and get, get mated, she'll be good to go. Also, and the, the other frame right here has quite a bit of seal honey in it. So this this colony here will, will do well. Now that I know what is going on in this colony, I'll be able to assist them very much so. Alright, so let's just Put them back together. They are doing very well. And of course, you know, they, they're behaving well too. This morning when I came, I was doing a simple little manipulation over there and a little farming and I got about eight stings because like they didn't like how I was that close always make sure that you have the bee space fixed properly 
See your hair here are a little too small, so you need to make sure they have the space. Alright. Okay. Alright. I'll have to make a note in my calendar. My notebook. Concerning this colony here. This is why they, they haven't taken out all the, the liquid. So you see it's always good to have to have liquid and solid sometimes. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess they would have superseded that queen anyhow, you know. So no big thing. We'll take it from here now. Okay, so it's just that one colony up there I need to, to take care of. I need to show you something, you know. I like to plant corn in my area. And if you notice here, I'm preparing all, all these beds here to plant corn. So early this morning, I came in here and I started to dig these holes. But this is the spots in which I'll be planting the corn. And by the time I, I start from that corner coming up, by the time I reach here, the bees, this colony here, didn't like how I was that close. See, that's just about, I would average it about, about six feet away. They didn't like that, so although I was able to do all that there this morning, but, but by the time I reach here, there was fed up of me so I got about eight things all behind me back of my neck and everything that means that the bees here are getting ready for the honey flow now there's another thing when you when you go by when you go to your colony when you go to your colony or your apiary and you're doing things and you get stings Depends on how potent the stings are, you will know if the honey flow is going to start. In this case, the stinger, the stings that I got this morning was very, very strong. So I know that the honey flow is going to start pretty soon. I average in about two weeks' time. See, this is how I feed them liquid. And inside here, I have a very little bit of liquid there still. But I want to peek down inside here to see if I need to take off this, this super. Because what I have here, if you would notice, I usually will tend to my bees to the back. All right? I have a brood box and I have two supers. However, in between, right there, I have... Uh, inner cover so that inner cover keeps the broodness tight in the sense that the bees wouldn't have to protect all of that so what I will do now seeing that they want to occupy more space and have more room to do things I will take off that inner cover and give them full access to the brood boxes. The other reason why I do that too is so that I wouldn't have to put more crystals. I would not have to use bleach to keep the supers from getting any kind of fungus or problems due to wax moth. But instead, I'll get the bees themselves to do that work for me. Let the bees and them do it. Seeing that they, they want to behave so bad. You see, I don't get one sting already, watch. I try not to smoke, you know. But this colony, they look like they will be a little terror. I don't like to smoke like that at all, but seeing that they 
they want to behave nicely you have to give them smoke you see that look they even want to below this thing here they have the next frame there honey bong look how they're coming out you see that that is bad behavior you know this one sting me in my hand there too watch come on over here behave all yourself what kind of behavior is that I am wrong here so much times and all they still can't realize is me anyhow bees don't get tame eh? look at that watch at that see how they, they, they come in out there watch I want to see what all they're doing I'll come to Marco all here today and you see when I come back here I'm not going to see me again I don't want to put on gloves neither. I want to see all your behavior and how much all you will sting. This kind of behavior will have to be managed better than that. When I see, uh, when all you see I come here, all you must behave. All right. I'll have to fix all you up real good. I want to see they're building this comb here. If they build in this foundation here, that'll be real nice. They're running all about the place like crazy ants. See, watch, they're coming out again. Watch all day, watch. Go back down. Sting again. I'm not putting on no gloves. Now they have to be here. Yes, man. You see what I see in? They're working from this side. I need to see them in the light a little bit more. Oh, cool. Yes, man. You could see the eggs and the lava down inside there. They're ready to pump up, boy. All right, cool. That's nice. And that is what I really want to see. Now the thing about this colony, I have this queen for about four or five years, you know. And this is their behavior. But if you will notice now, they're coming down. So you see? Once you know how to, to smoke them, in the beginning, they will calm down themselves. Oh, they come down. And look the queen right there. Watch. Look the queen there. She's being fed right now. See that? Beautiful looking queen, man. Long, long abdomen. Go down inside. Go down inside. And next thing again. Come on, Queensy. Go down. Right. Thank you. So, if she is in a spot where she could get damaged or something, is another reason why they behave like that because you notice if you check the video and you rewind it you will see that she was right there in that area and that is where they was boiling up there all the time anyhow i'm glad i saw i, I saw her so now i know i have a i have my original queen from so long ago come on all you move from there Go in, I don't want to squeeze all your, all your rooms are given all your room. Right. That is all you want, I'll give all you that. Three and three, six and three, nine. Right, ready for honey. Okay, folks, so, I'm going to put back this hive together like that. Another sting, all you like to sting that spot, so, it had a smell there. Come on, audio. Come on, audio. Behave, behave. Okay, folks. So just remember where you see it. Eh? 
right here from the good honey beard. Yeah, man. And you know all the kind of favors I would like you to do for me? I don't want to tell you that again. Yeah, it's right there at the bottom of the screen. So what I'll do, I'll just put back this colony back together. Give them the solid. And I'll have to give them a little more liquid so that they will use that to... Um, no, 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 no. I don't take off this. No, leave it there. I will put this... The super with the frames and the other colony on the side here. But this this colony can't take that just just yet. All right. So right here from the good honey beard in the beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad, live and direct. So I'll come back to you in another one. Thanks for watching. All your bad bees, all your. Bye.